Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Botts of the Technical Trader, techtrader.com. It's Tuesday, the 18th of July. And these are the charts of the day. Well, it was certainly a turn up Tuesday. Markets had a terrific rally, a very strong one, with decent technicals, and closed near the upper end of the range for the day. A lot of stocks we followed did very well. Let's start with AI, which uh, is back in flow, in vogue, whatever you want to call it. Today, it jumped. About 72, about 48 percent. You can see that if it gets above the 42 and a half range, it could explode. My targets are they're going to be 48.9 and 54.5. AMAN is coming back from a test of the trend line and right around the moving averages too. Key resistance now 16.85. We get through that, we're looking at 18 and 22. AMPH broke out of a flag today. A very nice looking bullish flag following the breakout a couple weeks ago. And today, jumping 541 or almost 10 percent. This is new all-time high territory. I believe the stock may be headed into the 60s, high 60s, low 70s. AMSC popping out of a base today with a spike up, with a strong report. 661 to 830, finished 778 up 106, 15 three quarter percent, and it did it on good volume of for this stock, very thinly traded stock, 882,000. As you can see, it's the biggest volume in weeks uh, for me, and now looking for 10 dollars next. <clears throat> and the aero based group, ATRO, popped dramatically from 19 to 23, finished 22.59 or trading there in after hours. Up $4 and change, 22%. Looks like a breakout and a heading now to 25 and a half and 30. Kaba popped out of a coil. It's been about four weeks developing. It hasn't quite broken out above 14 and a quarter yet. It got up to that level today, 14.20. The next targets are 16 and 18. CBNA still consolidating and trying to break out and pull back, but boy, is this poised to pop again. Pattern I see, I'm seeing now looks like this. That would be a bull leg type pattern. See it? Let's call it a coil. Nevertheless, this setup tells me we go higher, similar to what we had here. Looking for a spike up and a, and a big one into the high 50s. Hyperfine did great today. It exploded. We got resistance. Came out of that pattern. Ran 33% and traded 10.6 million shares. And is right at secondary resistance with now, now the new target, four and a quarter and five. ICAT exploded. 190 to 397. Traded at 347 after hours, up 141, up 68%. It looks spectacular. The long downtrend. I'm now looking for a retest of the four and three quarter range. Well, about, about 596. IMBT broke out yesterday. Beautiful fall through today, which took out the May high. Now looking for 28 next target. INOD also popped the coil and, and jumped from. 10 and a quarter to 1370, 13.05 last, up 235, 22%. We need to get above 14, 20, 22, and then your target 16, 17 zone. INOQ also breaking out of a flag today. And looking spectacular, quite frankly, it's a great looking chart. 17 and a half and 21 are your next targets. MNMD came out of a base into, into the gap. I'm looking for a gap fill of five and a half. Half and then six and a half. Nicola, this low price puppy exploded, wedged, popped again. Now, today it was up about 7%, but what I need to see is if it backs and fills, and there's some sort of wedge or flag in here, it gets a fifth wave, at which target is going to be four and a half. NLTE, slow, steady rising channel, 45 degree angle. Today popped another 38 cents or nine and a half percent. If we can get it above resistance, which right now is about five, then the target six and a half. OPRA, which has been a spectacular, but took a big hit two days ago, dropping from 26 to 18 three quarters, followed through the next day to 1786 before bouncing back towards 23 today. Resistance to 26 and a half and 28 and a half. Palantir broke out above resistance, taking out a triple top. Now maybe headed to 21, my next target. QBS had swing trade, popped out, pulled back, had an inside day, and today popped out again, targeting three and three quarters. Four and three quarters and above, maybe even as high as seven or eight. Roblox 
popped out. This is the highest close in Roblox since the gap down early April. I'm now looking for a run at 48 and then a run and then follow through to 53. And a $518 million contract rig popped today. <clears throat> and you can see the movement out of the coil across the highs. I'm now looking for 985 and 11. Rivian. Pull back for a couple of days, but snap back again today. It's been holding support. Support now is about 22 and a half, 23. Resistance 26 and a half. We get through that. 29 and a half, 30, and 32, 33 might be targets. Rocket Lab doing great. You can see the base and, and the pop. And then a flag in here, or a wedge. That's what it is. That wedge broke out and it's gone vertical to a new 52 week high. Next target. About eight and three quarters and nine and a half. RXRX exploded, wedged, popped. And today, only with a small gain, but it feels like once it gets up and through this area, today's high above, say, 14 and three quarters, 17 and 21 are targets. Schwab with the spectacular earnings report exploded from 58 and a half to 67 nearly, finished uh, trading at 66 ish. 65.90 after hours <clears throat> on a strong breakout day. My target now is 73 and 81. Uber also popped, doing great. It's a breakout. It's also a new 52 week high. And my next target is going to be upwards of 52 and then 60. And finally, XPO Logistics, which came out of its base flag and popped, is on the run. Very strong. To say I'm looking for a death stock to get into the lower to mid 80s. Spectacular stock. Great chart, good momentum. A little overbought, but good momo. That's it for me. This is HP signing off. Have a great evening.